In this lab, I want to talk to you about T-Shark. T-Shark is a pretty awesome terminal uh, uh, sniffing tool. Really, really easy to use. Um, so first, let's uh, check out the manual page for it. So let's do a man T-Shark. Okay. And you basically can see T-Shark dumps and analyzes network traffic. You can, uh, I'll just kind of highlight some of the options that you can do here. in here. You can specify uh, a file and the format of the file if you want to. You can specify the interface which you want to listen to it on, or you can have it all dumped to a terminal if you want. You can specify what protocols that you want. You can read an input file if you already have a file captured. Uh, and that's basically it. Okay, so it's basically T Shark, then the different fields, the protocols, the values, <clears throat> and uh, the other options that you want, right? So, just in the quick description of this, uh, T Shark is a network protocol analyzer, allows you to capture data from a live network and read this uh, to a packed or file or print the decoded information to the terminal. Okay, so we'll go ahead and exit out of the manual file and we'll just do a T Shark. Uh, and uh, I'll just do this regularly at first, uh, and then I'll basically just run a scan on the network. So I'll just do an nmap scan um, to 192.168.0.0 forward slash 16 just to generate some traffic. Uh, we also could simultaneously open up EtherApe here and just to get an idea of what the scan is doing out of the network so you can kind of watch the scan in full in real time so you can see that all the traffic is coming from 92.130 which is me and I'm basically just going out to the network trying to enumerate the, the different style of traffic. Now since I did this to a whole basically class B subnet I'm generating significant amounts of traffic here purposely for the illustration in the lab. Um, I can go ahead and, and stop the um, the scanning tool at this point so I just stop the nmap scan because I, I don't necessarily want to see the the whole traffic I just want to scroll up and kind of give you the idea of the format of this so in this case you can see the timestamp right in, in the beginning the source IP address to so the destination IP address the protocol that it's using DNS in this case uh, it's using a standard query, a little bit of hexadecimal information, uh, PTR record, uh, and then the actual PTR record uh, that actually came back from the source. Um, and then you can see, like, for example, if we go grab a different type of traffic, here's an ICMP echo request or ping request, which is a type 8, <clears throat> and then 0 for the echo reply, and then the sequence number and the time lives. Um, now, also, I could set this up to um, to grep this for something like ICMP if I want as well. And then if I just run my scan again, it'll only give me the results for just the ICMP as you can see here. Or if I wanted to set it up for just DNS or just UDP or just TCP or just HTTP or just whatever you want, you certainly can do that. So that syntax was uh, T shark space bar um, or pipe uh, space and then the next command you want to use grep for ICMP and that'll just give you those specific filter results or if I just wanted to get a particular source address I certainly could do that as well um, so that's the basics of using terminal uh, Wireshark I like this because of the way that it dumps things to the terminal very very cleanly um, but if I wanted to do get a little bit more crazy with it I could set it to verbose mode um, Actually, I think it's a capital V. Uh, or let's just double check this. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, so let's just stop that right away because that's going to be way, way too robust. And in this case, let's see if we can get to the beginning of the packet. You can see the protocol. It gives you a complete uh, terminal breakdown of exactly what's in the complete packet. So all of the the flags, the lengths, the anything in you know ICMP, IP, TCP, UDP, or the upper layer applications, the actual protocol field will be dumped. Now I have to warn you, uh, doing it with this much detail can certainly, certainly bog down your terminal. Terminal. Uh, I captured uh, 104 packets, but 10 of them was actually dropped. So just keep that in mind when you're analyzing T Shark in a verbose mode because, uh, like I said, you can get a lot of results. So you're going to want a high speed fiber interface if you're actually going to do this on a production network.
Otherwise, that's it. That's the basics of T-Shark. It's basically a terminal sniffer, really easy to use. Uh, go ahead and practice it on your Kali or any Linux build operating system. Um, easy to use, uh, basic way to learn sniffing and the, the actual way that the protocols are laid out because you actually get to see the literal translation of what happens on a network. So thanks for watching. My name is Leo Dreger, and I will see you in the next video.